Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, I figured I would show you a code on a 3038E John Deere tractor right here. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so the code we are experiencing... Sorry. I'm trying to get this phone to focus on that. You can see it says ECUA 5232 49.05. That's my code popping up. I wrote the code right here. Okay. Let me switch hands here. So I wanted to show y'all what this code means. This code is well, basically long story breakdown after the big long jambled words that they put on it. It says EC or um, let's see the crank position sensor or camshaft position sensor is not responding to the ECU. So what I've done is I come over here and I took apart let me get my light so you can see better you see that connection right right there uh, right behind the fan belt let's see if I can point to it okay it's kind of hard to point but Y'all can see that connection right there. The wire the wire comes down to that connector right there. So this connector right here is pretty dirty. I don't know, like, it's got a lot of crap on it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. So this thing is a pain in the butt to take apart right here so here's your crank here's your pulley for your water pump it's just right below that it's a black plug-in on these John Deere's with the diesel engine and this is a 2018 but so we're gonna take that apart and give it a good cleaning and then I'll bring you back but I forgot to mention the reason or well that code is popping up one because you know this tractor was stolen two is they ripped the key switch out of it so everything is covered in mud because it was sump up in a mud hole as y'all know if you watch my videos you know this tractor already so anyway long story short so i got an external ground here to the frame to run to the key switch um, and guidance by a friend that is a mechanic at the John Deere place. So, anyway, long story short, is we took this fuses in here apart and cleaned them really good because it was very nasty. I know I should have did a video. And I went through and cleaned all my connections to my starters and everything. So I'm down to them three sensors on that side now. I took this, well, no, two sensors. I took this one off and cleaned it already. So, the reason why I'm saying that sensor is because you have a crank but no start. See, this is a healthy crank but no start. No, oh, now it won't do nothing. Okay, give me a second. Hmm. I'll have to bring you back in one second. Now I don't have no power up to the switch for some reason. I'll be right back for the starter. Okay, so try this again.
So this is after we done cleaned that Okay, so what I was going to show you, see, go cranking and cranking and crank until the battery runs her down. So, what I figured out was this our crank position sensor here. Is dirty enough to make contact sometimes when it wants to before I spend eighty dollars from John Deere on a new sensor right here I will take this one apart clean the connection clean the inside of it I'll bring you back in a second after I clean this okay so she's all nice and cleaned up now back in there if we took the plug-in apart or I took the plug-in apart and cleaned it and got it all nice and pretty in there so let's go back to the driver's side now to the switch okay as you can see there is sorry I don't know why this phone has such a hard time focusing on that light but anyway, you'll just have to take my word for it because you can't really see it. There is no codes popping up now. It's this PTO, sit level, exhaust, vehicle, PTO, all that fun stuff. Okay, so as you can see, the key switches out of it because it got ripped out when it got stolen. So I got the new one wired up. So anyway, the C, or sorry, ECUA code is not popping up now and i cleaned the sensor and everything so if everything's right now it should just hit off and not have no codes at all see if we got any codes PTO, soot level, exhaust filter, engine, vehicle, PTO, soot level. No check engine codes at all. Everything's running good. Tractor arrives up fine. But before, it was one of them kind of like hit and miss kind of things. Like it would work when it wanted to and not work when it wanted to. It was just all over the place. But now... She fires right to life. Awesome. Really glad I didn't have to spend $80 on a... Uh, position sensor that's really exciting and like I said this code here what the John Deere told me was the crank position sensor is not communicating with the computer on the tractor so which in turn is not letting it start so guys we fixed it I and ladies I really hope y'all don't have this problem because it has been a, a very pain in the butt to track down because it will throw the code and it would take it off before i had time to look it up but anyway so i hope this helps someone and like always this is adam god bless and y'all have a wonderful day and don't forget to like and subscribe john deere 3038e have a great day bye